Hello everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu Edition, where we're gonna catch a Diglett real quick. Because we need one for the Pokedex, mostly. I went ahead and got rid of Bobbix. We have Bob Trio now on our team. So that is a thing that has happened, but otherwise nothing else has changed in between episodes. Let's hope that these Diglets aren't as much trouble as Bob Trio was. And they aren't. There we go. One Boblet obtained that will never get used because we already have his evolution. Alright, 176. I did look it up too, and uh, yeah, that Pokedex entry definitely implies that um, Doug Trio swim around in lava. So, uh, that's a thing. It prefers dark places. It spends most of its time underground, though it may pop up in caves. Good stuff. Good stuff. Alright, well anyway, I don't know if this guy's gonna battle us. This path is closed because Diglett dug too many holes. While we're filling the holes, why don't you challenge the Vermilion City Gym? Okay, well that's a thing. Well anyway, let's go ahead and head on back then. They don't want you getting up to the people who were on the other side. Alright, well we get to go over and head to the right, see if we run into a Mr. Mime or a Drowsy or whatever, but first we have to battle some people. Don't you like Route 11? The double ones in its name are so cool. And guess what? I'm the coach trainer on Route Double One. I'm a coach trainer. Think you can take me on? You just said that. Okay? I won't hold back. Yaw. Coach trainers are kind of noobs, aren't they? Are you going to have more than one Pokemon? Probably not. Will. Oh, just one Pokemon. A Rattata of all things. You made it this far with just a Rattata. You think you're something special. Well, Bobasaur, I think it is time for you to teach this idiot a lesson about what Pokemon are good and which ones aren't. Okay, so that, I mean, that's a good move, admittedly. Holy cow, this thing has defense. Let's try a headbutt. Although it's faster than me. Okay, well, we're gonna lose. Let's try to get a leaf seed on it before we faint. We may or may not succeed. I didn't actually see how much damage. Nope. Well, stupid Rattata. Surprised how high level it is, honestly. I mean, it's not a danger or anything. We could give Bob Trio a chance. I mean, I don't think he'll win just because he's seven levels lower. But we haven't seen him yet. There he is. Good old Bob Trio. Newest member of the team. We can sand attack, I guess. Super Fang is less good whenever you have a huge level advantage. But he still used it. And there we go, a nice old sand attack. Maybe giving himself a chance, probably not. It's actually a girl Bob Trio, so you know. Man, it only has Scratch? What kind of moveset is this? Also, level 14, they were always like level 20 back in the original games, I think. They definitely weren't level 14. I guess we could try. I guess we could growl, I mean, we might as well. If we survive this, no. I said if we survived that, I would switch out. But he did not. Okay, well, let's get serious then. That's enough goofing around with this dumb rat attack. Let's send out our heavy hitter, who has a new move, which we've not tried out yet. Good old Pika Bob gained Thunderbolt last episode. This should make this battle easy. Yeah, now that's some damage. Still, this thing is defense trained or something. Like, that is some ridiculous level defense on this stupid Rattata, and he's actually smart about using Super Fang, which, or Hyper Fang, whichever move that was that has the damage. Critical hit, well, no luck to you. Goodbye. You're strong. Your Rattata was weird. It still sucked, but it was weird. You're strong, you've got me in a good mood, so take these. Pikachu candies, interesting. If you use a Pikachu candy, Pikachu will get much stronger. If you want to get candy for a specific Pokemon, try catching that species over and over. Or send them to the professor. Okay. Well, I guess we'll use those real quick. Because why not? I don't plan on having any other Pikachus in this series, so we might as well get rid of them. Use it. Who would I use it on? I don't know. Pikabob, maybe. Plus one to everything. Nice. That is an extreme increase. Wow. That is definitely very powerful to get. 
Pika Bob is going to be so strong. All right. Let's go heal up, though, because I did goof around a little too much, and I do want Bob Trio to actually level up. Charmander, I don't care about the flowers, okay? Unless you actually find me items in the flowers, I don't care. And last time you did not, so now I'm ignoring all of them. It's the opposite. It's like when you find one item in a trash can, then you look at every single trash can, but if you look in flowers once and don't find anything, then you're never going to look in flowers again. All right, there we go. Bob Trio is back in action. Now we have two great balls on our team. Good stuff. So let's get out there and get capturing, get prepared for this gym battle, which I don't expect to be too difficult, but uh, it would definitely be beneficial if Bob Trio gained a few levels beforehand, just because he is our anti-electricity savior. So let's get out here. There's always a lot of trainers out here to battle, and I don't think this game will be any exception. Let's go, but don't cheat. Cheating is literally not allowed. So I don't think that'll be a problem. Eddie. A Nidorino, nice. He actually evolved. Good stuff. It's only Pokemon, though. All right, Bobasaur, you gonna actually survive this time? I mean, this isn't like a very ideal Titan matchup, but it's not terrible. I'm at least faster, though. That stupid rat hat was so fast. Ow, I got kicked for extremely minor damage. It's terrible. Oh, well, headbutt again. Let's try to get those flinches. Nope. Oh, Alright, well, let's take more minor damage. Ow. Ow. It was so painful. Alright, final hit. Let's go. Doesn't matter if it flinches or not. Goodbye. That's more like it though, a level 16 Pokemon. More what I would expect to see. Bob Mandrigger to level 19. Gonna try to evolve again. Just can't stop evolving. I don't want you to evolve, Bob Mander. No, stop it. Getting tiresome, I really need Neverstone. All right, well anyway. Eradicate, wow. Hello, Eradicate. Got a super potion. There we go. It's a tiny drowsy. Don't really care about the size of drowsy. Don't plan on using them. Oh, it's so tiny. All right, yellow, I think we'll go for it. Come on, let's go. Yes. No, stupid drowsy. Get in the stupid ball, jerk. Great, that's gonna be a fail. Didn't even get any effect from that. No? Yes? Wow, okay. It means nothing. Alright, more XP. Baba Free's about to level up. What do we got? Pokedex Entry. If you sleep by it all the time, it will sometimes show you dreams it had eaten in the past. Okay. That's a bit concerning. But Mr. Mime, oh crap. Come on, those are rare. All right, Mr. Mime, a fairy type nowadays. All right, we're gonna go ahead and raspberry him up right away because he's rare and I don't feel like dealing with it. Wow, he's still hard to catch even after that. And we just barely missed getting a bonus, great. Nope, okay. I was so close, huh? I don't feel like I was that close. There we go. Maybe that'll do it. Come on, second try, an excellent. No, not even close. Okay, um, we are going to throw... Which one's a good one? Okay, I don't care about that. And have Barry. Let's throw that at him as well. So that he'll calm down a little. Although he's still doing the thing where it's like, wow, how did I do that? I did the exact same thing I did all those other times I had trouble. Nope. Wow, he's a jerk. Will you get in this stupid ball? Okay, this thing's moving really slow. Oh, I missed though somehow. I was too high. Come on, Mr. Mime, you're a jerk. Quit hopping around. I'm getting mad. Alright, got another excellent. 
I only have so many great balls, Mr. Mime, so please, if you want to live in luxury and not in a crappy Pokeball, I recommend that you not make me use all 23 of them. There we go. Got it on a crap throw. Whatever, Mr. Mime, you're in the bag. Good riddance to that effort. Level 21, Cabertiodo. Baba Free, level 18. Good stuff. The two Pokemon that are least useful in the next gym leveled up. Always practicing its pantomime act, it makes enemies believe something exists that really doesn't. I thought it was. I thought the way Mr. Mime worked was more that it makes things exist that people don't realize exist. <laughs> that tends to be how Mr. Mime works. Oh, well, we found a lure. Don't really need it, because we already got the Pokemon. Is that it for this route? Let me see real quick. Um, yeah, that is actually it. That is everything that I care about. I mean, there's a special spawn of Chansey, but yeah. Did he just say he has never won before at his age? Oh, does he only have one Pokemon? Wilco? A Vulpix. Yeah, it's his only Pokemon. Alright, well, I mean, type matchup's not great. If you were gonna win, now would be the time. Your Vulpix is level 18. But, um, I don't think it's gonna happen. Especially with Confuse Ray being, you know, a very random chance of actually being useful. I don't know, we'll find out. Nope, it was the wrong call. Sorry. Goodbye, Vulpix. If you'd used a good move and gotten a critical hit, it might have been different. I saw this coming. Yeah, me too. Didn't even need to switch away from my grass type to beat you. Alright, I wonder if they, like, gave his Pokemon bad IVs. Just to be funny. That'd be funny. Anything down here? No. Oh, yes. Mr. Sailor Guy. Wahaha, I have never lost. Okay. I think that these two just battle each other constantly. And this guy has a water type, so he always wins. Sailor Dirk. That's what's really happening here. Is this Poliwag and that Vulpix are, have only ever battled each other. And so they don't realize. Well, this guy's got two Pokemon, so that's why he wins, really. And it's still level 18, so he's got twice as many Pokemon and still the same level. And a type advantage against the Vulpix. So it's no surprise that he always wins. Like, this is no shock. We could tackle, but whatever, I'll just vine whip. I'm not running out of PP anytime, so you know. I don't need to conserve it by using crap moves just to finish things off. This is no trial where I have to, like, worry about not going to a Pokemon Center for a long time. And a Machop, because they always gave Machops to sailors. The idea being they work on the boats. Uh, we'll headbutt probably faster. Don't know what tricky move Machop might have, so a flinch could be useful. Or, you know, if they get a critical hit. Fun fact is that Focus Energy in the original games, I think, I think it was Gen 1, where it was bugged and it actually lowered your chance of critical hits. There we go, got a flinch. Learning about all the bugs in the original games made me quite sad just because of the amount of things I did where they were supposed to benefit me, but didn't. I never really used Focus Energy, but there were other things that didn't work the way they are supposed to. Alright, Bob Trio gained a level, finally. Once you get Fury Swipes, but... Um, I mean, I guess considering his terrible moveset, you can get rid of Agility and have Fury Swipes on there. Might be better than uh, Scratch. My first loss! First of many, good sir, if you actually battle someone other than the old man. Alright, continuing on. Let's fight this guy. Hello, do you use electricity safely at home? Absolutely not. I plug my Pikachu into the outlet with no surge protector. Braxton. The Voltorb. Good stuff. Good stuff. Probably gonna explode on poor old Bobasaur here. I'll get a Leech Seed in, just in case. I wish I had a Mega Drain or something so that... Oh, holy cow! Um... 
That's scary. How much is that gonna heal for us? From 17 up to only 22. So we might not even survive another hit. We could try for a headbutt, but he's faster. I feel like Bobasaur's best move is to just leave. Send out Bob Trio, who should resist anything. Although he's so weak, he might not survive just on principle. He uses another crap move. Like Sonic Boom. How much is this gonna do? Okay. But we do have this. So we'll be able to take another hit from Sonic Boom. But only one more hit. And we don't have good moves here, so let's see. Which button is considered Y? I always have to check. So it's 40 power with 100 accuracy, whereas Fury Swipes is 80 accuracy with 18 power. So it would have to hit three times to be better, and it might only hit two times, and it might miss. So I really just don't feel like using it. I really don't like the move. Okay, yeah, you really think I'm going to use a special move on you? Like, what in the world would make you think that a level 15 Bob Trio would have a special move? Also, that scratch did a surprising amount of damage, honestly. I was really expecting a bit less. I think we might actually be able to keep Bob Trio out. Okay, he's changing things up with a Swift. Still did a decent amount of damage, though. If we can survive one more hit, we can potentially win. I mean, there's no potential to it. Like, I'm guaranteed win if I survive. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. You got lucky. Thank you, Bob Trio. You get free XP. Not much of it, admittedly, but some of it. Bobasaur gets the level, though. Pika Bob does too. Good, good. You're great. You beat me. Wow, that is a weird face that engineers make when they lose. Definitely strange. All right, well, anyway, we do need to switch out our party. And, uh,. I guess I could send out Bob Trio first, but then I'm just gonna have to be swapping constantly, so I don't know. Thing is that realistically, we're probably gonna run into a lot of electric types, because another engineer. X defense. Alright, well let's fight this engineer real quick. See if he has a Magnemite or a Voltorb or what. Hey, do you always turn off lights? I mean, sometimes I turn them on. Like, it'd be a little weird if the only thing you ever did was turn off lights. Ernie. The Magnemite, okay. So, Bob Mander gets a turn. Good old Bob Trio. Gotta get him that XP. We want him to be at least a couple levels higher before we get to Surge. Now, I feel like if he gets to, like, level 17, 18, he might actually be useful in the coming battles. Supersonic, okay. And of course it hit. Doesn't Supersonic have, like, super low accuracy? Oh well. Let's Ember it. I wish Bob Mander would get a good move now. Eka Bob finally got a good move, but we need Bob Mander to get something nice. Oh, great. Great, great, great. Paralyzed Bob Mander. I'm so sad. Oh well. 50-50 chance that this Ember will finish things off. Come on, random chance. Oh. Well, it's actually less than a 50% because I'm both confused and paralyzed. <sighs> Bob Mander might not even be able to do this. Okay, there we go. Thank you, Bob Mander. I was getting worried. This Magnemite was doing status conditions left and right. Boosted experience. A Voltorb, huh? Well, I won't lie, I'm definitely concerned here. Um, we don't have anyone good to fight this thing. The best I can do is sand attack with Bob Trio and then switch in someone else. But uh, we know from the previous Voltorb that this thing will be able to kill off Bob Trio in two hits. Unless he gets lucky, in which case it'd be one hit. But no, 
didn't get lucky. And it knows Swift, so the sand attack is only marginally useful. Because it won't even affect Swift. But it will help Bob, uh, Bobasaur if we send him out. We could go risky and send out Cabertioto and hope for some luck. Maybe Cabertioto will be able to deal the damage. Let's find out, I guess. We got the chance of electric attacks missing. Swift, but you know, that doesn't do much damage to poor old Cabertioto. Uh, Headbutt for sure. We'll probably be faster, yes. We're playing all the odds we can. Holy cow! Well, it hits, but it's just Thundershock, so that's not bad. I was worried it might have something stronger, but it is pretty low level. All right, well, I think we got it then. Good job, Cabertioto. Prove that type advantages mean nothing. Didn't even need that accuracy debuff. Bob Mander leveled up. Stuff, didn't gain a level, not gained a level, but didn't gain a move. Whoa, kids nowadays are so strong. You're just weak. Like seriously, you're how old and you haven't even leveled up past level 18? No, Bob Mander, quit it. You level up so often. Well, anyway, that is it for today. We got all the unique Pokemon on this route. We have, like, one or two trainers left to fight, and then it'll be heading on over to the gym after we heal up. So I'll see you guys next time, where we do all the things I just said. Bye! Never mind, guys. Quick, <laughs> quick change of plans. This thing literally appeared the second I hit the button. Holy crap. Um, Raspberry, please. Use. All right, let's try this out. It's doing the crap. Got a great, it's not ideal, but wow. I was not planning to get a Chansey, but this thing just decided to show up and we got it first try, holy crap. What are the odds? Wow. All right, that was a lot of experience. Everyone's leveled up. Bob Manor's gonna try to evolve again, Bob Trio. Oh, just everyone, everyone in the world. All right, Baba Free wants to learn Supersonic, really? At least I can double check the accuracy on this thing, because I'm pretty sure I know what it is. But, um, oh, okay, well, apparently not. Um, no, I wanted to look at the accuracy. How do I do that? Ah, there we go. Accuracy 55. That's what I thought. Anyway, there we go. Bobasaur, yep. Oh, takedown, okay. Um... How much better is Takedown than Headbutt, though? Oh, I keep pressing... I really dislike this control scheme. This control scheme is absolutely terrible. Okay, yes. Okay, I gotta press this button. Alright, Accuracy 85, Power 90, with Recoil as well. Honestly, compared to Headbutt, I mean, it's 70 power. It's a little less power, but it doesn't have Recoil, and it's 100% accuracy, and it causes flinch. I feel like Headbutt's a better move, honestly. Like, the accuracy alone is a problem, even if it didn't have the other disadvantages of, you know, recoil versus a flinch. But anyway, there we go. No evolution once again. And now we get the Pokedex entry. What do we got? A gentle and kind-hearted Pokemon that shares its nutritious eggs if it sees an injured Pokemon. All right, well... That's Chansey taken care of. That's a load off my mind. But anyway, now I'll see you guys next episode where we will actually go to the gym and do stuff. Bye.